The Walking Wounded. Yes, that is exactly what I am. The Walking Wounded. Uh, before I came to Jesus, uh, I had a friend, and I, I'd known him for a couple of years, and he tried to help me. He was a psychologist, and he says, you know what? You're just this big wound, and your wound is so deep, I can't help you. Can you imagine a psychologist or psychiatrist telling you, I can't help you? That was pretty uh, awakening. And it was shortly after that that I, I came to my conversion, and that's a long story in itself. A lot of circumstances led to it, but um, chance circumstances too. But um, the thing is, even today, and it's about three years ago that I consider my conversion date, March 19th, 2018, over, over three years, um, I still have scars, I still have wounds, I still walk in uncertainty, I have amazing self-doubt. Self-doubt's not necessarily a bad thing if we have great confidence in Jesus. The thing is, we cannot be healed overnight. Conversion is a slow and steady process. There's the initial, yes. Jesus. Yes, I will serve. Yes, I will follow. Yes, I will obey. That's essential. But then he starts working on us. And he does it over time. And we're going to still fall. And we're still going to make mistakes. And we're going to still think, what am I doing? Am I doing anything right? Okay? Has anyone else experienced this kind of thing? Where you still have wounds from your past? You still have things you need healing? And you still are living the walk, you're walking the walk, and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, trying to keep from temptation, trying to keep from sin, still you'll sometimes fall and you get right back up. There are some days where I could be really busy and I feel like I'm doing his work, but I, I feel, at the end of the day I think, I did nothing today. That's a lie. Those are the days where he's really working on you hard, chiseling away at you, and you're working for him. So I'm just trying to give some hope to people because it's hard. It's a struggle. It's a daily struggle. The walk with him is a daily struggle. And we're going to make mistakes and we're going to fall, but we got to keep getting back up. And I've said this before in other videos, but I haven't really given any testimony. So hold fast, keep the faith, stay close to Jesus, and keep getting back up. It's the only way. That's how we'll get the crown, how we'll win the race. It's a, not a one-time victory, it's a lifelong race.